built up urban area of North East Glenrothes has been used as far back as 6,000 years ago by its Neolithic inhabitants. Balfarg Henge was discovered by air photography and is a very important component in one of East Scotland's best preserved prehistoric complexes. Two sandstone megaliths survive into the present day and modern wooden posts mark where a stone circle originally stood. Information boards are provided at the Henge's northeast orientated entrance. The well-defined ditch can be made out encompassing the 60 metre diameter Henge. Our ancestors' first sign of activity was just over 6,000 years ago. To the west of the Henge, pits were dug and large quantities of pottery were placed inside. Come roughly 1,000 years later, burnt bone and burnt pottery charcoal were also deposited. This pottery was different to the kind known as grooved ware. After these deposits, Balfour Kenge was constructed with the entrance aligned with Balburnley Stone Circle's original location. Within the Henge, a number of constructions were created one after the other. The first was huge wooden oak posts arranged in five or six concentric ringed circles and a porch arrangement, accompanied by an extra two timbers. This wood circle lasted for 500 years. The Balfour Henge we see today is a reconstruction from this time period. Come the late Neolithic, early Bronze Age, the timber arrangement was replaced by a 30 metre diameter stone circle. Two megaliths still survive. Think of Avebury, but on a much smaller scale. One seems to be at the entrance, while the other seems to be an avenue stone. Some archaeologists think each megalith may represent an ancestor who you could communicate with during your visit. In the centre of the site is a two-ton stone slab, still in its original position. Below this was a young person, likely a male, around 20, who was laid to rest here. The person had a flint knife and a finely made beaker with a handle buried with them. In 1977 and 1978, excavations took place by Roger Mercer and funded by Historic Scotland. The purpose of these enigmatic hinges is unknown, but a clue might be some of the pottery vessels. They contained black henbane, which is a powerful hallucinogen, but also a poison. Up until 1995, the local fete moved away from the henge to Gilvan Bank Park. It is possible the site was linked with the prominent hills of East Lothian and West Lothian. Our ancestors may have thought these hills were sacred or might have viewed them as breasts of the Earth Mother. This photo was taken from the bridge at Mark Inch train station, which is on an elevated position. I am unsure if these hills were visible from the Balfour sites before the houses and trees. The Henge is located between the A92 and B969 roads and is 1.5 miles from the Glenrothes town centre. The Balfarg ritual enclosure is a short 275 metre walk away and the Balburnley Stone Circle is just over the other side of the A92. While walking from the Henge to the ritual enclosure, I came across two large stones which may have been part of the Henge complex at one time, then possibly dragged to their present location. Balfour Riding School is an enigmatic and central component in a once very important ceremonial complex created by our Neolithic ancestors. Even in our present day, these arrangement of sites are remarkable, especially in East Scotland. Discovered through aerial photography in the late 1970s, Historic Scotland excavated between 1983 and 1985. Here we have a possible mortuary enclosure aligned roughly north-south, constructed by wooden posts. The timbers we see today are a modern reconstruction. 500 years later, the structure was built over a mound and a henge dug out around it. The later earthwork henge had burnt bone, charcoal and grooved ware pottery deposited into it. 
The timber structure was created around 5,500 years ago and is shaped like the end of a cursus. There is an outer and inner arrangement of posts with the inner set being thicker and double road. The modern reconstruction takes on the same position of post holes found during excavation. It is thought these posts would support a platform where the deceased would be placed. Balfard Riding School is one and a half miles from Glenrothes Town Centre and not far from Mark Inns train station. The ritual enclosure is located next to the A92 road with Balfard Kenge at one side and Balburnie Stone Circle at the other. All sites are open to the public and a pleasant afternoon can be spent pondering on these enigmatic sites left behind from over five millennia ago and now survive in a modern urban environment. Glenrothes in Fife holds one of the most important prehistoric ceremonial landscapes in East Scotland. Three Neolithic sites still exist into our present day. Each has public access and all are a short walk from each other. Balburnie Stone Circle luckily still survives after road extension caused the site to be repositioned 125 metres southeast from its original location. Excavation was carried out by Historic Scotland in 1970-71, to 71. then the circle was moved by Glenrothes Development Corporation. The circle is a Neolithic ring from around 5,000 years ago. There were originally 10 standing stones in a 15 metre diameter. Before excavation began, five of these stones were still standing. Our ancient ancestors originally carefully placed the circle in a more prominent position and they may have aligned this with the summer solstice sunrise over Clato Hill. Originally there was a hearth at the centre, a feature also found in Orkney at Scarra Bray and Stones of Stenness. The hearth may have been lit during night time ceremonies and casted shadows over the circle. The largest stone has possible simulacra with an eye and nose visible. Simulacra is not uncommon at megalithic sites. Human faces and animals can be found at Avebury in England. It is likely the Balburnie Circle had three phases of construction. The first being the erection of standing stones, then the second was the kists being inserted, then lastly a half metre stone cairn was added to the interior, along with pockets of cremated bone. The site had been much disturbed due to trees and an earlier excavation from the 1880s. During the early 1970s excavation, finds were a black jet button. This travelled 200 miles from the Yorkshire coast. A small bone toggle, a knife made of flint. This was as useful today as a Swiss army knife. Jet disc beads and a beaker that may have held drink to keep the deceased going on their afterlife journey. After this excavation, the circle was moved to widen the road. Today the circle has eight stones, one has fallen and another is a stump. Interior features are interesting with the large low square being the main focus and three small kists. One of these has a side slab decorated with cup and ring petroglyphs. Mark Inch is the closest train station to the sites. A walk through Bulburnie Park will bring you to the stone circle and across the A92 road is the ritual enclosure marked out with modern wooden posts. Further on is Balfour Kenge, located in a housing scheme. Here we have three sites, all close to each other. Any level of historian or megalithomaniac will enjoy visiting these sites, which were so important to our ancient ancestors. Please subscribe for regular content on Scotland's ancient sites and join Before Caledonia on Facebook. A big thanks to my Patreons and a huge thanks to our ancient ancestors.